Hello Trading Standards. My name is Ellis Donaldson and I'm a Trading Standards Enforcement Officer for Ealing Council. Yes, and is the business based in Ealing? If you could tell me a bit more about your complaint. Um, I started my apprenticeship in 2017. When I first joined, I was the regulatory services apprentice. So I worked across a whole different variety of fields that covered licensing admin, licensing enforcement, trading standards, food safety, health and safety and safe communities and noise and use. So I started my AS levels and completed them, but didn't feel that that was uh, the right option for me. I didn't feel that I was excelling. So I looked around and I saw a job advert for um, an apprenticeship at Ealing and successfully applied. It allowed me to see that there are opportunities to earn while you're working and that you can gain a qualification while having on the job experience, which was something that I, I believe would benefit me. I believe Ellis is a shining example of the benefits of joining an apprenticeship scheme. She's managed to work her way up from an apprentice uh, and ended up specialising in trading standards. She's been able to obtain the job um, and come through and worked her way through the system. And we're now currently supporting her to the trading standards qualification and I see even brighter future for her here in Ealing. So here we have some um, possibly counterfeit ion lithium batteries. Um, they normally contain the trademarks of Apple. As you can see on this, the sticker has been removed. They normally put the sticker on them so when they are getting through customs or ports they aren't flagged up as counterfeit. Buying counterfeit goods funds a criminal industry. The whole point of legitimizing business is to keep consumers safe. If you're buying counterfeits, you don't know the quality of the goods that you're buying. Uh, therefore, it could be unsafe. So this is a power, a power adapter. Um, the main issues with these are overheating. They are normally not wired correctly. Mainly we would find these in warehouses and industrial estates. We often find them in off licenses. That's awful, I'm very upset that you did that. <laughs> Our advice to consumers would to always buy from reputable traders.